good evening. I mean, f see, it's not even evening. <laughs> well, good afternoon and welcome to another video on the Autoblog YouTube channel. I'm uh, actually at North Pitt Auto Spa. Some might remember that I got my car wrapped here and uh, paint corrected and ceramic coated. And today I have the truck here with Nate because I will possibly get that paint corrected and wrapped as well. But you know what? I wasn't planning on filming. I was just gonna come here and quickly talk to Nate. But look what he is working on in here. Look at this beautiful GT3 that's getting a full paint correction, full wrap, ceramic coating. This thing is just too beautiful to not put on video. I mean, this thing is awesome. I love the GT3s and the GT3 RSs. Sounds amazing and check out this interior full carbon bucket seats and uh, this specific interior here is called something but I forget I think it's about a six thousand dollar option it's a manual Alcantara steering wheel yeah I mean these things are just awesome we got to get out of here because time to go home so a little different beginning to uh, today's video than what we are used to, but that just had to be shown. And I don't even have my camera with me. I'm filming with my phone right now. So let's head back home and start this video. So here we are back at the garage once again. But in today's video, we are unwrapping both the Mercedes and the F-150, which might seem kind of odd since I just came from Nate's aka North Pit Auto Spa talking about wrapping the F-150 But let me explain regarding the F-150 what we will be removing is the Ford lettering that my buddy Shane from Insane Designs did you guys might remember uh, That I went there and then I deleted all the footage so I didn't have any footage of uh, him actually doing that But this was sort of like a surprise type thing that he did for me while he wrapped my rear bumper and you guys might already know as well that I already said that I was going to remove this because on Friday just six days from now I'm going back to Insane Designs and he is wrapping my front bumper so the whole truck will finally be de-chromed and at that time we will be re-wrapping these Ford letters here in all black so yeah, I went to Nate at North Pit Auto Spa for possibly expel wrapping the F-150 and then I'm going to Shane for the vinyl wrapping in Harrisburg. So what am I talking about regarding unwrapping the bends? Well, we all know that it does have a full front expel wrap on it. And why would I take that off? Well, let me explain that as well. And this is kind of embarrassing. It's me who has messed up once again trying to uh, work on my cars. So take a look at this. Yeah, what that is, is Gorilla Glue. And it is smeared on a pretty, I mean, I know this is gonna look small, but it is a pretty big surface here where this is dried up glue. And the reason I have dried up glue on the front of the bends is because of this aftermarket carbon fiber grill piece. Now I love how this grill piece looks, you guys already know that, but this star part right here is separate and this was glued on to the main piece here about two weeks ago this thing actually fell off I never put that in a video uh, explaining that I, I didn't have it on footage when it fell off either and the reason it fell off was because to be honest it wasn't really glued on tight and uh, it started kind of peeling off you know when I was washing it and that kind of thing I could tell that it was coming loose a little bit and then one day I actually when it was parked in the garage I was messing around and there was a bunch of junk in front of the car and I actually bumped into this piece and it fell off so uh, what my smart ass tried to do was glue this back on with Gorilla Glue and when I did that, it started dripping from underneath here, and I figured, oh, okay, you know, thank God it's, you know, expel wrapped, I can just wipe it off. And then when I try to wipe it off, it just smeared. So you see underneath here now, it just, it looks horrible. So what we'll be doing in today's video is removing this expel to get rid of this dried up glue. And trust me, I try to get this off, it's pretty much impossible. 
And here's the other thing that I'm thinking about and why I'm also doing this. Now for anyone watching this video, learn from me. Don't be a dumbass like I was. I did not get my car wrapped right away. Now there are reasons for that. I mean, you guys know that this car is a big part of my business. I create a lot of content with this car. So right when I had gotten it, I had a Miami trip uh, planned and I hadn't really scheduled the Expel wrap ahead of time so to speak before I actually got the car so I didn't have time to wrap it before my Miami trip and I made a separate video on this whole topic already so I'm not going to talk about it for too long here but basically when I was driving home from Miami I was completely sprayed uh, by a truck that was ahead of me but it drove over it must have been a huge patch of just loose gravel on the highway I mean I was somewhere between South Carolina or Georgia and it just went I mean it was like a gunshot and it just flew all over the car and pretty much every stone chip that I have on this front bumper and some on the hood was from that one time so there's a pretty big one there and now all these stone chips are of course underneath the expel wrap there's right here right here here on the splitter or the front spoiler right there you see all these little white dots here these are all stone chips all over the front bumper it's down here here now this is an aftermarket um, carbon fiber splitter and they're always going to take a bunch of views because it's a it's a splitter so I'm, I'm not really worried about the splitter but this whole thing has annoyed me badly for a very long time that even though my car is wrapped and it is protected currently i mean you see all the old stone chips through the expel so here's my thought process because I'm a dumbass, of course. This is what I'm gonna have to do now. Since this whole debacle happened, and I actually started scraping a little bit here, trying to get this off, because it is expel wrapped, I figured, well, I can start scraping a little bit here with this plastic piece I have. I actually cut the film a little bit. So we're gonna remove the film that's on the front bumper part of the Benz. And when I've done that, I'm going to a body shop on Monday, and I'm gonna get a quote for repainting my front bumper now a lot of you guys probably are you know getting heart attacks and stuff now and i get it repainting a car is usually never a, you know a great idea when it comes to matching colors of paint and it's usually never going to be as good of a, a coat as the stock paint that you get from the factory but i'm sick of seeing all these stone chips and stuff and my car is black so I mean, thankfully, I guess, it's the easiest color to match. Um, and I just have to wait and see what this is going to cost and that kind of thing. I haven't talked to the body shop yet, of course. Hi, honey. Hi. You want to be on camera? No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to unwrap the front bumper because I messed up with the glue and everything. We're going to keep it unwrapped until I get it repainted. And then we're going to wrap it again. I'm going to take it to Nate's. And I'm gonna have him just do the expel wrap over again. And today is an extremely warm day, which makes it pretty much perfect to do this unwrapping process. I'm just gonna start over here in the corner. See how that's coming off? Easy, because it's so hot outside. Usually you should have heat guns and stuff when do these type of things. I mean, I'm sweating my ass off right now. It's about 95 degrees outside. So I'm gonna start unwrapping the bends and then we're gonna unwrap the Ford letters on the F-150. All right, we're getting to the piece where the glue is. Yeah, thank God this car was wrapped. Yeah, see, part of the wrap here is stuck with the glue. Now, there's a little glue on the paint. Damn it. glue on the wrap. It looks horrible so I had to take the whole wrap off and we're gonna have to rewrap it. All right so all this uh, expel wrap right here is from this part or down to here and then all around up here and to the side right here. Now we have 
this part left. All right, so here we have, this is uh, what a full front Expel wrap looks like. Not a full front, because it's not the hood, but full bumper, front bumper wrap looks like an Expel. I also have the side mirrors wrapped, but you know, obviously we're not doing anything with that. So it's this full piece here now, the front bumper, that is completely unwrapped. Now I used masking tape to, uh, hold this piece together right when I applied all the glue. There was glue here and then there's masking tape stuck there and underneath, it's just horrible. And then right here, we have some dried glue right there. I'm gonna later on try to get that off, but I, I can't even remember if I mentioned this already. I yap so much I get lost in my own yapping here. This grill piece is coming off and I'm putting the stock one back on, but it is of course not going to look stock. I don't want a silver piece on the front end of my car here. And uh, all I'm going to say is that it's not going to be painted and it's not going to be wrapped. But it's a new method, at least to me, that's going to be done to that grill piece and it's going to look absolutely fantastic. But that's for a later video. So now that we have the Benz completely unwrapped, we just got the truck left. So there we have it, both cars are unwrapped. No more Swedish flag on the F-150 grill, and no more protective film on the front bumper part of the AMG. And if we look here, I mean the car is, is dirty, and like all this is like bug splashes and stuff, so maybe it's not the best comparison, but no expel, expel. I mean, you can hardly see a difference. Nate does a fantastic job, as does Shane, of course, with his vinyl wrapping. He also, of course, does Expel also, but he's a little too far away for me to, uh, you know, drop my car off for a week and have it expelled. That's why I'm doing it with Nate. Nate does not do any kind of vinyl wrapping. So thank God for Shane. He can wrap that front bumper in just a few hours. So that's gonna be awesome. Stick around for that video. Uh, it's happening late next week. But a quick recap here before we end the video. I messed up once again trying to work on my cars. Got glue on part of the bumper, which was gladly on the Expel, and that's why we unwrapped the AMG. The reason that happened was because this star piece fell off. I tried to glue it back on. It dripped glue down there. We still have some glue right there, but I removed the Expel, and you know, 95% of that is gone, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole front bumper repainted because of all the stone chips I had prior to getting it wrapped. So once it is repainted, it's fresh and new right away i'll get it rewrapped in expel for the front bumper we removed the vinyl version of a swedish flag on the four letters on the f-150 it will be replaced we got to have some glue left on the letters here i don't care about that shit right now shane will have to take care of that because he is rewrapping the letters on friday in all black plus we're getting the front bumper wrapped in the same color as we got the rear bumper wrapped. It's going to look absolutely awesome and finally the truck is going to be pretty much all black. There will be zero chrome left except for the Ford lettering here which I want to stay on there and these stupid little screws in the fender flares. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very action-packed, kind of boring um, and I, again I apologize. I've been working around the house. That's why there hasn't been an upload in a few days. But I do thank you guys for your patience. And if you live somewhat around the Pittsburgh area, I mean the Tri-State area, whatever, on the 11th, uh, it's during the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, there will be an awesome car show. <sighs> Sweating. It's actually called the Tune-Up event. We will all be at Heinz Field. There's gonna be tons of supercars displayed there. The AMG will be displayed inside the stadium. If you live in the area, definitely come out. That is going to be an absolutely awesome experience. But with all that being said, this video is over. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.